And oh my goodness me! Oh, it is the revenge of the skink here. It has got one of the legs of the redback. I can't believe this is going on. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of deadly spiders and some scenes in this video may be very distressing to some viewers, so you have been warned. Well, hi there. This is the report of my deadly redback spider tank between week five and week six. And it looks like the second skink has just been taken out by the redbacks. That one there has just been bitten and caught. Uh, hopefully my time-lapse camera has captured part of it. I've been watching egg sacs, uh, but it's really sad that the second skink is uh, going to die. I am capturing this on time-lapse because it's one of those things that is going to progress over a fair bit of time. And we'll see what the redback does to that skink. And from what I can see, the skink is still breathing, it's still alive. The redback is, well, basically getting it ready for its final hours. That's the cluster of egg sacs that I have been waiting for one of those to open up. As yet, nothing has happened. And that female redback, uh, I've got a funny feeling. It has grabbed this one by the tail. I think it may have been molting its tail or something. There's the tail up there. Like, I haven't looked back on the time that's footage and exactly what has gone on. Um... Maybe it's going to reveal some secrets, maybe not. And what's peculiar is the other skink, which died basically a week ago, is laying there, uh, sort of just beside Minecraft Steve. And it is actually very sad. The second skink is in so much trouble. Oh, just tried to have a go at that red bag then. It's trying its best. Uh, I don't like its chances. I'd say the red bag is going to win this battle. It seems to win the battle every time. <laughs> if the redback's got a bite into that lizard, it really is just a matter of time before the venom starts taking effect. It, what I think happens is it tends to paralyze the back of these lizards. It's quite distressing, isn't it, really? Uh, but hey, that's the way nature plays out. And that skink is doing all it can to get out of that redbacks web. The redbacks, uh, I don't know whether they just go around for thrill kills. Uh, I wonder if there's any purpose in nailing that skink there. The one thing that I would say is what I'm noticing is that as these egg sacs have developed, there's been more and more things which have been left up in the web here. Uh, so maybe when the spidlings do eventually come out, they've got something to nibble on. There's also a peculiar shape that they've made around the back of the egg sacs here with the web. Well, that there uh, across screen is the carcass of the skink from last week, which has been dead for about a week now. Uh, Minecraft Steve is featuring in this, which is sort of nice. He's sort of a relatively new addition in this spider home. But seeing the other skink get nailed, it's really sad. And I'm not going to go in and save the skink. If it has got a bite, well, there's nothing really I can do for it. I've just got to let nature play out its nasty, nasty game. There's that big cluster of egg sacs. One day they decided to put them all over in one corner. Mind you, there are two new ones over in another corner. And that is another look at that peculiar shape of web they put around those web egg sacs. Well, I'm certainly learning uh, redback spiders. Uh, anything that enters this tank uh, basically gets killed. Anything that's killed a redback spider has been another redback spider. And oh my goodness me! Oh! It is the revenge of the skink here. It has got one of the legs of the redback. I can't believe this is going on, man. Oh, I have got mega goosebumps. What is the redback going to do here? Whoa. Okay. What is going to be the star mart here? There's no way I'm going to turn the camera off on this one. Can that redback be released from the bite of that skink there? Who would you have your money on, hey? I really thought it was good and nice sister for that skink. It has come back with a bite there, a vicious bite, onto the back leg of the red back. Oh, I, I can only assume that the skink's got a... Oh, the red back is going to go. <sighs> Man, this is mega, mega crazy. That was just ridiculously crazy. That really got my heart rate pumping. That redback spider had a very big near miss. I can't believe 
that skink got that bite into the back leg. I have got the time lapse camera on this, hopefully to capture anything else that happens. This has become uh, quite sad and really tragic. It's been hours and this lizard is still alive. The red back has been playing and fiddling with it. There's actually blood on uh, one side, uh, the eye socket area there. The poor thing must be in some horrific pain. One of the big females is nestled right up under the XX there, under that uh, quite amazing web structure they've got. Up the back there, right in the middle of frame, one of the red backs has molted its skin. I think I've semi-captured that on time lapse. It looks very freaky, doesn't it? It's just the legs that have been left behind. And I've got my son down here. He's just very curious about what goes on in this spider tank. He's just looking over there at the poor old lizard, which has got the bloodied eye. What's your thoughts on that one? Um, it's just so poor, and why haven't you, like, just seen either? Yeah, that's quite sickening, isn't it? Oh, poor thing, it must be in so much pain. That leg business is quite freaky. Let me see if I can pick those legs out so we can have a bit of a, um, a bit of a closer look. Come here, legs. Come to daddy. Well, here is, uh, what is, that redback has shed off. What do you think about that one? The sun's right next to me. Um, I think the, the spider's kind of dumb because it... Because it shed its off. Yeah. Self off. Just freaky looking, isn't it? That thing there. Just extremely freaky looking. These spiders just do not stop amazing me. I'll put that in because that might be a nice bit of food for someone in there. Just noticed something else uh, quite spider horrific here. It's a bit muddy, the glass there, so it's a bit tricky to see. If I move the camera around, uh, that cricket is actually being killed by one of the spiderlings from week one. It's it's actually biting into the leg there. Whoever needs to watch uh, horror movies when, really, in nature, it's just completely full of horror stories. Just had the strangest thing happen. I'm just sitting here at my bench. This is the bottom of my bench, and a great big cricket or something has come into the workshop here. I think it was attracted by the light around the spider tank, and I'm going to try and get that in with the spiders. Now there's a better shot of it for all I know. That could be the perfect red back spider killer. I'm yet to find something that can knock off these red backs. Maybe this is it. And what I should do is actually mark week six by the silver dot. And because there's been more eggs laid, it actually gets a black dot as well. That's the fourth week of eggs being laid. Now this crickety thing might be a bit tricky to get in. Uh, it's a very jumpy sort of thing. I bet it's going to cause havoc down in this spider tank. Okay, it's in. And that cricket is going to have to be very careful in there, or else it's going to arouse a red back, and I think a red back is uh, going to take that cricket out really fast. If I was in that corner behind Thomas there, I'd be extremely careful. Ooh. Mrs. Cricket is uh, just warming to the environment, I think. Mrs. Cricket is seeing some very horrible scenes along the way. I think my biggest advice to Mrs. Cricket is just be careful who you play with. Yes, many a critter has uh, decided Thomas the Tank is sometimes a good place to hide. I don't know whether Mrs. Cricket is going to do the same. And Mrs. Cricket seems preoccupied in keeping things clean. I dare say when you're dead, you no longer have to worry. I wonder if Mrs. Cricket actually knows this redback spider right next to her. Now what I've noticed with redbacks is that they use a really sticky set of web uh, when they get annoyed and they want to catch something. And I noticed that little redback there has deployed some. The most fascinating uh, creatures when you see the way they kill things, they got it down to a very, very fine art. Well, I'll tell you one thing, the cricket has uh, been jumping around, bouncing around, but the red backs have um, ignored it. What I've noticed is either you put something in here, the red backs take it out instantly, or it gets a reprieve and it will be taken out at some time later. And there's a few creatures in here, especially one that we spoke about last week, which mesmerised the audience. Uh, where's Gonzo? Have we seen Gonzo in the tank? Well, in my search for Gonzo, uh, we drift past some uh, very horrific sights, don't we? Especially down here on the Millennium Falcon. Whoa, the memories of those bugs there. What a bundle of nightmare that looks like. And the female redback keeps coming down and has a bit of a... Suck and feed on that lizard. Yes, the poor thing is still alive. It's just such horrific stuff. Uh, these redbacks are super evil. Just drifting across the Thomas the Tank and lots of paint is coming off Thomas now and there's more carcasses and insects there. But we're looking for Gonzo. But very sadly, and if I drift down to below Thomas here, 
I think down in the mud there, a little bit hard to see, I think that's the carcass of Gonzo down in the mud. And sure, Gonzo is a bit like a rock, uh, but Gonzo is very much like a rock now. Yes, I need to clean the glass, and I? I actually do that every couple of weeks, and if Gonzo's still around, we'll take another look at him. Now, the one other critter that I'm actually looking for, that I think is a very important one to look at, is the male redback spider, and I'll be quite honest here, it hasn't been jumping out at me. Now, right in the middle of the screen, I oh, will try and put a red circle around it. I think that's the male there. Now, the sad part is that spider has not moved. I hope it hasn't passed away. Mind you, passing away is very much a theme of this horror tank of spiders. Who knows, the male one may have just had its day, and all the females I notice are getting quite restless. I get a bit scared when they all start moving about like this. Now, if I was at cricket, I would keep an extremely low profile. Because in this spider prison, death comes all too fast. Well, that is the week six update. Sorry for the different lighting. I've had some lighting issues going on. I'll just spin the tank around in front of us here so I can see each side. I have got a cold, uh, so I'm not feeling that well. But mind you, looking at the spiders has made me spruik up a bit. They're always interesting to look at. And as always, everything that I've, I've put in this tank uh, basically gets killed by the redback spiders. Uh, as I keep saying, the only thing that I've found that kills a redback spider is a redback spider. I think we've all learnt these spiders work in extremely evil ways. Uh, I've learned a lot about them by watching them in this tank here, and I'm always amazed in the way that they catch and manipulate their prey. Uh, just amazingly efficient killers, and obviously very good breeders. Don't panic everyone, I can see some life in the male uh, redback, it's right in the middle of the screen there, it must have been having a sleep. Boy, they can sleep for a long period of time. The one part I don't understand is, surely that redback has bitten that skink. Uh, why does it take so long for the skink to die? It was the same with the other skink, it seemed to take forever. I'm sure someone in the audience can explain that one to me. There you go, Thomas. You're getting a bit of a redback facelift. Well, I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.